consensus is that Chris Higgins was a good pickup at the deadline for the Vancouver Canucks. Played 13 minutes in his first game as a Canuck a couple of nights ago in San Jose. 13 more tonight. Did you hit the mother load when you were traded to Vancouver? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find out soon enough, right? Yeah. Playoff time comes. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, though. It's, it's a fun time here to be playing. Uh, where were you? How did you hear about the trade? Uh, just sitting in my apartment. I think uh, they're starting to blow up uh, Florida down there uh, that, that day, so kind of stuck around the phones, and uh, I didn't get the call till like 3.15, so kind of thought I was safe, and it wasn't the case. It's got to feel good, though, to know that a team like Vancouver, who's looking at, obviously, trying to win a Stanley Cup this year and a favorite, looks to someone like you and feels like you can help them, and what did they say to you when you talked to them for the first time? Uh, just looking at me every opportunity to get the ice time. Uh, it's going to be a tough... Uh, Tough challenge for me. There's a lot of skill. Uh, that's a hard-working team. Um, I'm gonna have to work uh, work pretty hard to get my ice, but uh, it's a good challenge. And like I said, it's a fun time here to be playing. Chris, the fractured thumb kept you out of the first five games after the deadline acquisition. I think this occurred in late February with Florida. But if we look at the injury. Just tell me if this has been the story of your career for the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems like it, yeah, because I think it was his stick that uh, that hit me and not the puck. And um, I kind of knew something was wrong right away. Right when, it, right when it, uh, his stick hit me, it didn't feel like the normal... Uh, the normal break. Well, that nail looks nasty. Uh, yeah, thanks for putting that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah, yeah, uh, anything goes in this program. <laughs> and you'll figure that out pretty quickly. Uh, this is your fifth team in two years after you scored 27 for Montreal in 07 08. And that season, and two 20 goal seasons before that, signaled you as one of the better young players in the NHL. And then the nomadic journey. How tough mentally have the last two years have been on you? Uh, it's tough getting traded for sure, um, but uh, I think it's something that made me a better, better pro, more rounded pro, uh, to uh, be able to play with different organizations, to be able to fit in. Um, and uh, I think I've played well with some, uh, with some other teams. So, um, just uh, enjoying the ride. Well, I don't know if this is a fair question or a tough question for you, but how tough is it? to break yourself in in Montreal. I mean, there's so much scrutiny there and of course with the history and everything and you know, it just seemed like so many players get going, they get a niche going there and then all of a sudden it can bottom out quickly there. There's a lot of pressure there. Oh, there certainly is, yeah, but uh, at the time of my life playing there, um, to, to break in an organization like that's first class all the way and uh, obviously you feel like you're in the NHL when you're playing for that organization so I was, uh, I was blessed to, to start my career there. Uh, On the topic of Montreal, Gary, I was going to say that your first career goal scored October the 6th of 05 at Madison Square Garden against Kevin Weeks, who's not here because he's at the White House tonight. And uh, I'm not kidding about that. So uh, <laughs> we can't make sport of him. Actually, uh, we can. He's just not going to hear it. But how do you remember the goal? <laughs> uh, first of all, that's a bad helmet. I'm glad I, I'm glad I changed that thing. Um, I had uh, a lot of family friends there. Uh, I was in the first period, so I kind of just wanted the game to end right after I scored there. Uh, go see my family. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a good dream come true. Like I said, it was uh, one of my uh, best hockey moments. It wasn't really the prettiest goal, but uh, I'll take it. Well, Weeks get an assist? <laughs> uh, thanks for letting that one in, yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Is it nice to come to the team and knowing, uh, and knowing you know, Maxim LaPierre, and uh, is there any else anybody on the team that you knew from before or someone that you had a relationship with before? Uh, I played uh, some USA tournaments with uh, Keith Ballard, Ryan Kessler, um, and uh, when uh, Rick Bonus was living on the island, coaching the Islanders, he coached me when I was uh, maybe 10 or 11. You um, played PB with his son, right? Played PB with his son, yeah. So uh, it's come full circle, and uh, he's, a, he's a hell of a guy. Here's a tweet from Nav097. After playing in Montreal, what are your thoughts on the stanchions in that <laughs> arena? You know to which he refers. That's the uh, the Chera Pacioretty incident, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I never really noticed when I was playing there. Um, it's, it's a dangerous part of the ice, obviously. And, uh, in any building? Yeah, in any building. And... Uh, um, it's you kind of have to be aware where you are where you are in the ice when when you, your guy's gonna get hit. Uh, it's, it's it's a tough it's it's a tough play. It's it's going you're going so fast and you can't stop your momentum. Sometimes uh, you know Pacioretty couldn't stop uh, his momentum. You get checked just a lot, the slightest bit throws you off and uh, you know it's 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 pretty ugly after that. Is there something that you feel that they can do? better to protect the players from those things or is the padding on it enough or is there have there have to be more you think there has to be rules put in place uh, for that part of the ice or is that just an unfortunate thing that you can't control and it's just something that's going to happen in the game where you have openings for the benches uh, I just think that's something you just can't control I mean you have to, you have to have openings for the benches it's always going to be there um, I don't know maybe someone will devise something that's that's less less of an impact I guess but uh, there will always be that sharp corner there it's it's that's part of the game. It's tough. 
Chris, you grew up in Long Island. Your father, Robert, is a New York City firefighter. Your brother, Kevin, is a New York City police officer. Um, so they serve while you play a kid's game, Chris, for big money. Do they ever let you forget it? Um, <laughs> no, like I said, my, my brother, uh, brother gives me a lot of heat for how much money I make, for how many minutes I play during the week. He makes uh, a lot less, doing a lot harder job, and uh, I think it's... Uh, it's uh, it's grounded me knowing where my family is, my, where my family is. My, my dad's a farm and brother's a cop, and uh, it's a it's a blue car family that I come from, and uh, it's something that you know I'll carry with me. Your uh, father's one, I go. one of the first responders uh, to the 9/11 disaster. Yeah, yeah, he actually had off that day, but obviously when the first uh, plane hit, they called everyone in, and he was down there for you know, weeks after that. We didn't see him for a while. What are dinner hours like in the Higgins household when you're home? <laughs> <laughs> Loud, and uh, you got to have thick skin, that's for sure. Um, they'll, uh, they'll gang up on you pretty quick, especially okay. when I come home, too, because, uh, you know, I'm not around too much. Um, this is the final thing, for, uh, the final tweet. This is from Guts McTavish 24 um, Breaking news. After Hours guest is now Chris Higgins. Can you say live Kessler bomb? Do you have any idea what that means? Live Kessler bomb? I don't know. He was... He was Interviewing bomb, bombing people, I guess, but uh, I mean, hey, that sneaking into the shots victim. of other yeah, interviews. Yeah, I know, yeah. shirt off too, you know. I, uh, he did that to you? I think so, yeah, one of my first interviews. Yeah. <laughs> Some guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a threat he might do tonight, but he took a shot to the head in the game tonight, so maybe he's thought better of it. Anyway, Chris, thanks for your time. Really appreciate right, yeah, having thank you. On. you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Chris. Chris Higgins of the Vancouver Canucks, who win 4 3 tonight.